enchant my rest plate. Rests. Enchanted rests. Unbreaking protection one. Protection one. Well, whatever. Do. Better than nothing then. And project projectile protection. Do I need that? Furnace. Is that useful? Projectile protection. Well, I suppose it depends what you're fighting. Does it doesn't work it? on anything other than skeletons? What what is our major enemy in completing the game? The Ender Dragon, right? Yeah. What enchants do you need on armor to kill the Ender Dragon? Uh, I feel like skeletons are gonna fuck you up, so uh, projectile <laughs> protection isn't the worst thing in the world, is it? Iron golems. Iron golems. What do they do? Yeah, they, you don't need projectile protection then. It's the only options I've got. <laughs> One and two. I'm cooking up. 64 plus 35 iron. 100. I got 100 iron from that run. 100 iron? And I got 15 diamonds from that run. Fab. So we're now on 23 diamonds. That's actually like a respectable amount of diamonds. Not quite I'm enough. Working my balls off to get them. What we need is, I need to, I guess I'll, I'll be the farmer. We, we need to make a lead. Do you know we need to, make to a lead? find, I'll tell you what we need to find. We need to find a dungeon where we can farm. Yeah. Animals to get XP. You're and right, drops. we do. But how do we find a dungeon? Where do dungeons spawn? It could be anywhere. But we, well, what about like an abandoned mine shaft or something like that? If we f follow that, scout around, see if we can find some treasure, like maybe a map or something. Or we could go to the village, do some trading with the cartographer guy, get some maps, and go and find treasure places, and there'll be spawners there. And we could set up like a little farm there. Question mark? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the best thing to do is. Don't think maps are the way to go. I think we just need to find a dungeon. We, I think the more you dig and the more you explore, explore mine shafts, we'll but find I, one I eventually. don't think that me digging at diamond level is where dungeons spawn, is it? No, but we need to, we need to go spelunking, I think. That's probably the best bet. Spunking? Spunking. Sp sp spelunking. Let's go um, spunking. Spunky. Yeah. Look at all this garbage filling up. Just, we really don't want any of this shit. Do you know what I mean? Let's just throw all this on the ground. No, look, this chest has got all the blocks in, right? This is the block chest. Let's put them in there. Shift Q. What if I want to build a giant tower? Exactly. We might need to make like a big mob grinder thing, which means we need a lot of blocks. I'm just throwing them away. Fuck them. There's so much in here already. Fuck them. Don't pick up my garbage <laughs> and pick it back up. You're like cleaning up after me. I'm going to start making rails. You're like my mum. Oh, I love making rails, me. No, actually, if we find, we'll find a dungeon, right? We'll find a dungeon somewhere and then we'll rail to it. Okay. And then we can get there quickly to get their XP and then come back again. Do we need to have an auto killing thing that collects the XP and we just wake up in the morning and like when you walk out the door, it just gives you the XP? That would be really good, wouldn't it? Yeah. If you could make that. If you could make like an auto XP giver. We have to we have to kill him ourselves though to get the XP. Oh, oh. Oh, you're right, because it doesn't I feel like Minecraft will be better with like just a couple of mods. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> That's oh, this is a slippery slope. This is isn't a very it? slippery slope. This is how it happened. This is how we end up playing Ozone again. Oh my god, hardcore though. Oh man. Do you know what I'm saying, though? Why are you making an anvil, Lewis? Is it like this? I think it's like this, right? Is it like three blocks of iron? Oh, you can make a, we've got loads of iron there. You can go ahead and make whatever you fucking want, mate. I think it would, it would just be cheaper than um, keep building new tools is to make, make uh, an anvil and repair them. You do not get much XP from smelting. It's true. I smelted all this stuff and I got barely a level. I spent like six, like a hundred iron and six gold, and I got like less than a level. Oh, we got a traveling uh, salesman dude to turn up with some lines. Oh, I'll put the anvil in the furnace room. Do you want to buy some brain coral? I'm gonna, I'm gonna what buy the heck some is brain, brain coral. coral. What? Well, we might need it. You never fucking know. What does it do? What does brain coral not do? Is the question. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's coral just looks a little bit like a brain. It's probably not going to exist in a couple of years, you know, with the fucking global warming. Do you know what I'm How do I talk to him? I'm talking to him. Oh. Look, here you go, brain coral. What Check it out. What shit is that? I'm going to put it in our... There's a brain nice Brain coral. Oh. God, brain it turned coral. into dead brain coral. Oh, you killed it. Oh, shit. No, it is dead. <laughs> 
didn't mean to kill it. Do you hear that noise? I'll get another one. Oh, wait, you don't hear any noise. What noise? Like a creaky, cranky, crippity. I can't believe it died. Will this die anyway, this brain coil, if I put it in water? Probably. Oh, brains. Oh, hell. That's a bit sad. I didn't intend to murder the brain coral. Maybe we should make a little pond for it. Should we make a pond for our brain coral? Put it down here. Wait, wait, wait. Let's let's see if we can resurrect it. The dead one? Well, you got you got the new one, right? I've got a brand new one and a dead one. All right, we're going to make a pond for it. I don't know if the don't know if the dead one's going to come back to life. Well, I think it's fucked. I think I fucked it, mate. Well, you've got one alive there, right? One live coral. Oh yeah, one All live. Right. That's fine. Does, uh, does, you know when you grow sugar canes and stuff? Yeah. If it, like, tries to grow over a certain limit, will it pop off and then you can... Uh, no. You have, you have to have pistons? You have to put something above it, uh, which will stop it from growing, and then it will pop off automatically, I think. No, I think that's cactuses. Cactus does that. So sugar cane, you need to use pistons, I think. Yeah, I think I remember that. But that's it might be worth doing. You can get like a redstone clock and the piston set up. They're gonna need a lot of pistons. I think I need one piston for every bit of sugar cane. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I see. But you can do it on a redstone clock, so you can just leave yeah. it there. Just goes chuchuk 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 chuchuk. Right. Will that grow though? Will that grow? Yeah, it will grow once. As soon as it grows up to the piston level, it get it will get pushed off. Come and sleep. What have you done to this trailing salesman? He's invisible. He drank an invisibility precaution. Did? Yeah, look, he's gone. He's disappeared. More than me. Do you see him? Look. <laughs> I believe you, but Lewis, it's dark. Maybe that's how he survives at night. He goes invisible. <laughs> Maybe. So he can't be detected. It's invisible. You know? Hello? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's morning. We survived the night. Yet another night has been survived by us. I can't Lewis. believe it. Can you, can you put the coral in this pond I've made? Yeah, does it have to have water? It's got water. I've made a pond. That's why it's a pond. Here we go. <sighs> ah, it's beautiful. What does it do? What does it do? To the wiki. They can be used for building or decoration blocks. Coral blocks only grow sea pickles when bone meal is used on it. Mm. Additionally... <laughs> Sea pickles are planted on coral blocks using bone meal <laughs> on the sea pickles, but increase the number of sea pickles and create more sea pickles on nearby coral Dude, blocks. Do they have any bone meal? Specifically, they can spread to the original sea pickles level or one level below out to a horizontal taxi cab distance of two. These are the only ways for farming renewable sea pickles. <laughs> where's, the, where's Sandy gone? She's dead. In order for coral, oh, in God. order for coral blocks to stay alive, at least one of the six directly adjacent blocks must be water. Sandy's gone. If placed outside of water, it will transform into its dead coral block within a few seconds. <gasps> so you have to put it down next to water. It is in water. I want sea pickles. Um, sea pickles. Sea pickles are. Light emitting colonies of small stationary animals found underwater. They're not actually, I don't think you actually eat them. What? I think they're like little it's underwater. Just they're renewable. They're what? like underwatery light sources. And you can cook them to make lime dye. Ooh. Uh, there is an achievement called One Pickle, Two Pickle, Sea Pickle Four, where it is to place four sea pickles in a group. <laughs> So I think they're, 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 they're basically just... That will earn you 20 Xbox points. 20 Xbox points? Ooh, very nice. Do we think we can, like, handle a, a place? A cave? Yeah. Uh, I think we could use bows for that first. But we need string for bows. So maybe at night time tonight, we'll hunt for spiders, some spiders. And uh, then, once we have the string, we can make the bows. And then we can go to the caves and fight the things. Um, th I mean, there's key, like, dangerous moments in Minecraft, right? One of them is, like, going to the nether for the first time, because you could get a spawn where mm. you just walk into lava. 
You just don't walk forward when you first go into the nether. Right. Good tip. Mm. Thank you. It is a good tip. I feel like we need to do training as well. Like we need to do like like a Rocky montage. Yeah, like training, training things. Yeah, we need to train for. You forgot your bed. Come back right now. Before you go too far, come back. I'm not climbing back up. Come fuck! Stay in there, then I'll come and meet you. The worst at this. Kind of want to make. A mob, a mob farm. So let's maybe we could just build like a big one of those big dark tower things where they spawn in there, and then yeah. we just and walk we... in with us. And with then a, they fall down. Knife. They need to fall to their death. You see, and a then we collect tower. the uh, the loot from the bottom. Yeah, where it gets poured with water. Yeah, uh, Duncan to... was killed by falling. Duncan was killed by creeper. Duncan was killed by a skeleton. I can see a lot of problems with your desire. I don't think mob farms work in vanilla or they are do. proactively good. Well, maybe they are, but... We don't need it. I mean, we can't get XP from it, but we'll get loot. Yeah, but the, what the loot what, what loot value is there? Rotten well, flesh, what's the point? We need ender pearls. Can you, can you do enderman die from falling damage? Is that a thing? Mm, I think if you put an enderman in a little bit of water, I think it resets it. Or at least it won't come into the water. You can fight Enderman in water, can't you? Do you remember? I think, if, yeah, if, if they get wet, they teleport, don't they? Yeah. Isn't that like a surefire way to kill them? You can just stand in a pool of water and they'll never get you. Is that bollocks? I don't really remember. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, I think so, because the water hurts them. So every time they hit the water, they'll, they'll, um, they'll, they'll zip away. That might be a useful thing to know when we're fighting the Ender Dragon. We need to try out this stuff. We need to try out everything. We need to see how, how like good we are at combat, how we hold up against various organisms. You know, we need to like just see how good we are at fighting, what we need to improve upon. Can you do can you do an Enderman thing that's not in the end? What do you mean? If we go to the end, we're gonna start getting attacked by the Ender Dragon. Yeah, we can't get to the we'll end. Be knocked off. Unless we have enough Ender Pearls to make the I mean, that's, work. That's got to be like a bad way to go. But I think if we zone into the end and we're on that tiny fucking platform and the Ender Dragon literally knocks us off as we are zoning in, yeah, that is going to be fucking awful. <laughs> That'll be a, such a sad, <laughs> sad way to lose the game. Oh, I mean, I, I think it would be funny, though. I don't know if it would be f funny as much as frustrating. Uh, this, this game needs grappling hooks. That would be a good thing to add. <gasps> oh, Oh god, we hit lava. Do you remember last time we were talking about uh, the the 3D printing dildo machine? The maths question. The maths question. Doctor Simon Clark came up with a, a a lovely a lovely long answer which you can find on the Reddit, which is kind of interesting. So now I've I'm going to change the problem. What we're going to add the I'm going to add another constraint mm -hmm. to see uh, to make it a little bit more complicated. But this might the thing is you might think it will change it, but actually it might not change the, it. At no, all. there is a constraint now. There is limited resources. Okay. Right. Okay, and a printer is quite expensive to make. Now the question here is now knowing that you've got ten years, right? To how many dildos can you make with X amount of resources? What you mean, the solar system? Just, yeah, just say we've got a billion units of carbon or whatever the hell you put in a printer, right? Right. And it costs, what, like 100 to make a printer. I think what you're doing here is you're mm. making this math problem into a research problem. You know, you have to look up stuff. Yeah. You know, like how many, how much... Material there is in the planet. No, I, I mean I don't. Do I'm we not, have to like mine all the asteroids? This is just a. It's just a, a an arbitrary number. Okay, so there's a there's a there's a billion. No, 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 no. How about using? You can use like Jupiter. Or no, well, maybe not Jupiter. Maybe that because that's just gas, right? Or is it? I don't know. Maybe you could <laughs> use a planet. How about you can have Mars? We don't need Mars. No, Venus. Venus sucks. No one likes Venus. Screw Venus. We're never live there. You can use Venus to make the printers. Okay, but you so, only have Venus worth so, of materials. Okay, so Venus. Let's say it's got a, it's got a, it's got a billion units of silicon on Venus, right? And we want to make silicon dildos. A billion right? units. Yeah, just a, it's an arbitrary uh, a, a, a amount. No, I don't want an arbitrary amount. I want an actual. Well, I don't amount. know how much that is. Well, that's why I'm part <laughs> of the question. We anyway. want to know how do you make a printer? First of all, a magical 3D printer that can make 3D printers. That's got to be like. How many resources does each 3D printer cost? 
That's what I'm saying. So it costs 100 to make one. 100? Right? You can't say 100. I want real world numbers. It's not happening. For a non real world just, machine. Just let me do the problem here. I've got. I, I don't like I wanna... your problem. I'm picking holes in your problem. There's no, there's no holes in it because it, it doesn't matter how, how big a unit is. It can be any amount of size, which means that you could theoretically break up any planet into a billion units of whatever I'm talking about, right? But the planets are very different in size. <laughs> Look, there's a lot of aliens coming. We need to fuck them all to death, okay? <laughs> we want to know if how many, how much of the solar system we have to cannibalize to fuck a no, ten no, no, no. That's not the question. The question is, what is the max amount of dildos you could make in, if you turn the entire solar system into dildos in ten years with? the ingredients that you have, right? So obviously you're going to have to spend some ingredients making printers, but you don't want to spend too many making printers because you want enough to build dildos, but you also don't want to, don't want to run out of time and still have resources left over. Right, I see. Okay, so can you explain the maths problem from the start? You've got a billion units of silicon, right? What planet? Uh, I don't know, yes. uh, Merc Mercury. And to make a printer, you need 100 tons of silicon. You start with 100 tons. It's a big printer. It's in space. To make creative deal with those, it costs one ton of silicon. Now you have 10 years and you need to use as much of the silicon as you possibly can. It takes a day to make a dildo, a week to make a printer. So how many creative dildos can you make in 10 years? The problem is you have to make printers in order to make as many as you can, but you don't want to make too many printers that you've hurt your, your limit of silicon. So how many crates of dildos can you make in 10 years? Mercury contains this many tons of silicon. Okay. That's not gonna help. <laughs> Fine. Which That's so many. <laughs> how many, how many dildos in a crate? Doesn't matter, ten, Lewis. Ten, this is this a just, thousand? It's, no, it's, it's, there's only like a hundred dildos. How about a <laughs> hundred dildos? It takes a day to make a dildo and a week to make a printer. You have 10 years. How many aliens can you fuck to death? We'll deal with How many dildos can an alien take? When they arrive. Probably just, you probably just need one, right? Per alien. <laughs> like, they're pretty tough. So basically, though, all you've done is change the formula over here to be that it should be to make 3D printers until... No, because you don't want to use too much of your silicon making printers. But there'll be a point. I don't know what the point is. I don't know how there'll to do There'll be the a map. point. But like the Which point... you can only, then you can use the amount of resources left to make that many by the end of the 10 years. Basically, this is a graph. Oh no, not more Sorry. graphs. <laughs> <laughs> this is a graph. Basically, it will be make 3D printers like up to here for an amount of time and then it will be make dildos. Yeah. <laughs> but at what point do you stop? <laughs> yeah, but where, where do you stop? Where do exactly? you stop? That's the question. That's what we want to know. Yeah. Time. This is time. This is dildo, <laughs> and this is printor. You got to, so you got to stop making printers at a point where you can then make dildos for the remaining time and not run out of resources and use exactly the right amount of resources. That's what you want to do. A maths question. It's easy. It's probably got a very easy to find solution. I'm just, I'm just interested. Okay, so it's like the Duncan problem, Mark part, Two. Part Two. This is, this is the sort of thing you we will need to know this kind of thing in the future, Lewis, when the aliens come, okay? And we've got big, you know, orbital 3D printers making spaceships and stuff. We've only got a certain amount of resources in the in the solar system, right? You can't ship them between the solar systems. Ridiculous. There you go. Get your and then Get your if you do answer out. this, right? I think you should send the results to NASA because they'll be interested in this kind of thing because it's like ne they're going to need to do it in the future. Right. Cool. Minecraft time. Come on, Lewis. Get, get mining. I'm meeting a brownie. Get mining! Get Gosh, mine. Go and get a, back in the mines! The cruel master! I mean, I'm a brownie, my lord! Oh. Doing a maths question, no my lord! No brownies for you, Brindley! Not until you've mined me ten more diamonds and had a sleep, because it's bedtime. This is horrid. It's bedtime. What?! Sleep. I only just slept! That's because you're just not doing any... Yeah, it's, it's winter! <laughs> Bloody winter! Short days, long nights, terrible! Okay, this, uh, I'm getting lots of wood. I'm going to make some ladders, and I'm going to make a big old spooky mob tower. And it's going to be ugly as sin, right next to our beautiful house. What do you think about that? Why? Because uh, that's how it's going to be. Am I going the right way? What are you doing? Are you, are you lost? Maybe. Oh dear. I got a bit turned around by the 
the situation. Also, where's my pickaxe gone? I don't know. You press Q, did he break it? I must have broken all my pickaxes. Oh, this is very disappointing. I thought I got, didn't I get, didn't you give me one? Yeah, maybe an iron one. I haven't even brought any bloody wood with me. Come back up. <laughs> so I put a little moat around the tower I'm going to build, just because if I fall off, I won't die. Yeah, smart. Thinking about that. Well, you're going to hit the lip and die. Nah. Yeah. Nah. You're fine, look. Oh, I hit the ladder. Be all right. Watch you hit the lip and die. Well, if I do that, I die. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. How tall does this thing need to be to kill mobs? Oh, I mean, I'll just drown them. I oh, know, you can't drown an enderman, though, can you? So I, I could do a lava thing. Uh, I could do a lava thing. That'd be fun. So it doesn't actually have to be too high, but I want to make it a little bit higher so it's not... Why don't you make it bigger? You're just going to hit the ground. And this is just a tunnel they fall down. The actual thing will be bigger at the top. Oh, I should put some water in the bottom, right? That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? Who fucking made this strip mine? You did, mate. <laughs> Why doesn't it go back to itself? I don't, I don't know. You made it. You dug this shit. <laughs> now you lost, Lewis. Oh, there's redstone there, though. Might as well grab that, eh? This is just a nightmare. <laughs> Look at this. It's just a not... It's a horrific <laughs> maze now. What have you done to my... Yeah, I've done nothing to it. I've done... I bet you sealed off the one... fucking entrance with some smooth stone. <laughs> I took one corridor. Oh That's God. all you need to do. A little bit of smooth That'll stone. That would be such a good troll. <laughs> oh, shit. That's funny. I didn't know. I don't even have any concept of where I am. <laughs> Why is there this junction here? Okay, that... I didn't... I didn't think I did that. <laughs> Why is there a junction? <laughs> You're so lost. <laughs> Where are you? I'm upstairs. What's the cause? Uh, da, 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 twin, two, three, two, minus 52. Two, three, two. Two, three, two, minus 52. Yeah, I think I'm going the right way.